Hello everyone, in this video we are going to represent as a network the data that we downloaded in the previous video. In the previous video we downloaded a PDF with information about passing distribution of the match France versus Argentina played at World Cup uh, 2018 in Russia. So let's start by loading these packages. Now, if you didn't watch the first video, you can run this code here. Now, with this code, you are going to import the PDF and extract the name of the French player. Uh, this link is in the description. Let's run. Basically, we downloaded the document. As you can see, this is the passing distribution, France, Argentina. And from this document, we extracted the name of the player. Yeah, French player. You can see from here. Now, we have also to uh, import the number of passes. Okay? We want to import this. However, I would say that I could not find a pattern in the data. So what I did is just import manually. I just copy and you find the matrix in the description. Let's run. Let's set the row names and column names with the name with the names of the player. This is matrix. Now uh, let's check that I copied the matrix correctly. So first of all, I check the diagonal. They should be all zero, okay. And let's check also the total pass received and the total pass made complete. So example here we have Yoris, ten, Pavar, twenty-two, Varan, thirty, basically. Uh, are these numbers here? Let's check all parts. Need we have your 21, Pavar 22, Varan 34. There are this column here. Basically, PC stands for passes complete. Now, uh, not, not that in this uh, in this matrix we have some very low value such as one. What I want to do is that I want to uh, make this one and two as a zero, because when we are going to represent this data as a network, I want to uh, highlight the key information, basically the players at the center of the game. So I want to make the the network easier to read. So here. I'm setting the value less or equal to 2 equal to 0. For example, now we have that Yoris uh, does not pass here to Pavard, it's 0. Also to Fekir, for example, it's 0. Originally it's 1 and 1. Now we have the matrix. We need this object to be a network object. We are going to do this with the network function. You can see now this is a network. Let's check the object. We have information such as vertices. We have 14 vertices that directed uh, network. We don't have loops, it's not a bipartite network. We have 47 edges. This is the vertex attribute and the edge attribute. So let's retrieve this info, for example, the vertex names, they are the name of the players, check the list of edge attributes. From here, let's check the passes. These are the number of passes. Okay, let's make the first plot. This is our first representation, and as you can see here, we have uh, an isolate. I want to remove this. Not an important information for us, so we're going to remove with the display isolates equal false. 
you can see we don't have it now let's make this uh, this network uh, nicer first of all what i want to do change the color of the vertex for example here all these vertices are blue i want to change the color based on the on the role so first of all let's make an object that store the the role information for example here we have a goalkeeper defender midfielders and forward okay let's set the vertex attribute i'm going to store this this uh, role underscore now vertex dot call equal role change the color here as you can see we have different color let's check for example kante and pogba they are both midfielders and they are at the center of the game as you can see here so now uh, what i want to do is change the, uh, the label of the vertex basically i don't want to use the name of the player i want to replace the name of the player with the role and the number so let's store this info for example there is this goalkeeper with a uh, number is one then we have uh, for example pogba is a midfielder number six Kante is a midfielder number 13 and it's the info that we are going to to store in the object as we did before let's set the vertex attribute and we're storing this vertex attribute in the object um, and okay, so let's plot again and this time label is equal to object you can see now this is Pogba, this is Kante, this is for example Yori. Now what I want to do is to change the color. I don't like this color, in particular I don't like this black color. So let's check some alternative. From here let's choose this dark too. We're going to use these colors here. Uh, for this, we are going to store the vertex attribute as a factor. Now, we can change the color like this. As you can see, we have a goalkeeper with this violet, all the defender with this uh, green, midfielder with this uh, pink, and forward uh, orange. Okay, so next what we can do is change the width of the edge based on number of passes. I'm going to extract the number of passes from the network object, this function. Okay, and now here, control for the width of the edge with this, uh, this edge dot LWD. And I'm going to scale this by 0 0.8. Now, uh, what we can do next? Change uh, the size of the vertex based on the on the number of degree. First of all, let's check the isolates. We know that we have an isolate and it's located at 14. So I want to remove this. Are all three. And now here vertex. I'm checking, uh, I'm controlling for the size of the degree. I'm scaling this by 0 0.4. I, um, I also change the color uh, of the edge, changing this to gray. That's it. See here this Pogba and Kante that are at the center of the of the game France. now what we can do that we can make this network interactive we just need to add interactive equal true 
Okay, so select a vertex. Let's select a vertex. Which one? Let's select D. Let's move it. You can see here. Example. Select this one. Move and do something like that. Okay. Now uh, we work with the StatNet and network packages. Let's move to the iGraph package. Because StatNet and iGraph packages um, they share a function with the same name, let's detach StatNet package. And now we can load iGraph. Intergraph. Okay, with the Intergraph, basically we can convert a network object in an iGraph object with this as iGraph function. So let's do this. As you can see now, we have an iGraph object, and these are the information. It's a little bit. Uh, less clear than the network package but basically this uh, this d means that it's directed is the number of vertices the number of edges and these are the attributes okay now let's check the degree and as you can see here we have this is zero basically this is our isolate let's check degree uh, the in degree and the up degree okay so uh, I'm going to store this degree here. We can store, and we have to deal with this zero. In this case, we're going to delete the vertices degree when degree is equal to zero. Now, as you can see, we don't have this anymore. Let's set the color, and this time I'm choosing set uh, set one. With this uh, V function, we are selecting the role attribute from the verte vertex and we are doing, we are setting this as factor. Let's uh, set the layout as uh, Kamada Kawaii. Else, we are controlling the edge width, in this case, E for the edge, so we are extracting the number of passes where by 0 0.5 i am adding this edge dot curves we are making a edge curved this is for the edge arrow sides vertex sides okay the vertex level. let's run and this is the same representation with the i graph package so I hope that this is uh, useful. If you like this video, stay tuned because in the next video we are going to make the uh, we are going to represent the same data as a core diagram and then also as a heat map. Okay, if you like this video, see you in the next one.